today in this video we'll be discussing the fourth module of uh, object oriented concepts okay and uh, in this topic in this um, in this module it's uh, divided into three parts first one is about packages and interfaces second is about multi threading and third is about synchronization let's uh, discuss each one by one make sure you watch the video till the end and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, starting from packages and interfaces what is uh, what is a package package means it's a group of classes at a same place okay so what's the advantage is you can have uh, same class names in different packages okay and what's an interface interface means it uh, just defines uh, declares a function and we can uh, define as we want okay by using the keyword implements so it's same as the uh, abstract class but uh, the difference is we can't do multiple inheritance okay means we can implement uh, we can implement multiple interfaces whereas we can't uh, do that for the classes okay multiple classes cannot be extended at the same time okay so the syntax for the package is package and the package name here if you want to de uh, declare multiple packages we can do it uh, as follows and uh, after declaring a package you need to know about the access specifiers means what objects and the uh, variables can be accessed in the same class same uh, uh, same package subclass same package non subclass and so on okay so this table gives the information of uh, what are the access possible okay suppose that i have defined a package a and inside that i have the class balance okay so if i want to use this class uh, somewhere else in my program i'll import a and then i'll be using test balance and the keyword balance will be used here okay so the object of this class is being made here uh, using the import statement implementing interface is very easy we'll be using a keyword interface and uh, writing the name of the um, interface here and we'll be declaring a function here and in which class we want to implement we'll uh, use class client implement callback so this is getting implemented here so this function can be defined as i want okay multi thread programming means uh, same task can be divided into multiple parts and each will be performed simultaneously so there are some keywords here thread uh, thread priorities means which thread will be performed first and which will be second and third and so on okay and synchronization means suppose consider, consider an example here two threads are here t1 and t2 one is reading a document here and another one is writing here so uh, what happens if there is no synchronization it will be reading here but uh, it will be making some edi uh, addition here so this will miss the what is edited here right so for that to avoid that um, missing of information what we uh, what we can do is synchronization that means either at the time a thread can read only read and um, or a thread can only write okay after this gets over the other can start its uh, task okay so by using this we'll avoid the loss of information and since there are many threads to facilitate the communication between the different threads we can use messaging okay these are the inbuilt functions by using which the threads will notify each other of its state and its execution okay we'll be discussing each of these uh, in more detail in the upcoming topics so how to create threads there are two ways first one is by extending class thread or by implementing runnable interface these are the functions which you get uh, after uh, implementing the threads get name is for getting the threads name getting priority is alive and join is for uh, knowing the state of the thread if it's running or it's over and run sleep and start is for um, execution pausing and the stopping of thread okay so the first thread uh, which is created is the main thread it will be created automatically when the program is started okay so we have uh, we have two ways of creating the thread uh, by implementing runnable interface and by uh, and by extending the thread class both are the similar syntax only the difference is uh, suppose uh, see here class new threads implements runnable this should be used when you are uh, implementing a thread using interface okay and after that you will create a object here and you will be initializing that here by the name here of uh, what name you want for that thread and th uh, this is under the constructor and whenever a thread is created what should uh, the thread do that will be defined here okay for in this case the for loop will run here Uh, inside the void run function the same thing is for the class uh, thread also here which is extending thread using class we'll be using the keyword extends thread and we have to use the super keyword for because we are implementing the uh, parent uh, parent class function and second thing is start should be used here and we have to write overwrite and public void run so the uh, functions of the void run will be written here that means uh, whatever we want the thread to do like uh, if you want a thread to add two numbers i'll be writing the function inside the void run okay and uh, using these two functions is alive and join we can know if the thread has uh, stopped execution or is still uh, or is it still running 
so is alive is a boolean function which uh, returns true if the thread is running else false okay and join is a function which will cause the wait of the program until the execution of the thread is executed okay let's uh, see both of those uh, application by using an example see here class new thread implements runnable here i'll define the constructor and i'll have pub uh, public void run okay this is the uh, definition of the class and in the main function i'll be defining three objects ob1 with the name 1 ob2 with the name 2 and ob3 with the name 3 then i will be calling ob1.t dot t dot is alive same for ob2 and ob3 so what this will return is it will return true because these have been uh, created now and these are running okay and if i call after the after this time after this point at that time it will be returning false okay because it will be over what does obt1 uh, ob1 dot t dot join do it will cause the weight of the program until the thread uh, t uh, until the ob1 is executed okay then it will go here then it will go here or if they are performing simultaneously all will happen at the same time and after this three gets over then only program will continue from here uh, until that program will stop here okay so if i um, see the output it will be like this true three times and then uh, waiting period will be here and then the subsequent outputs that means if i uh, write any code here after this point that will be output here okay after the waiting period we have three constants here for defining the thread priorities first one is min priority it have it has the constant value 1 and max priority it has the uh, constant value 10 and normal priority which has the constant value 5 to initialize the priority to a thread what i'll be using is t dot set priority t is a thread dot uh, set priority is a function p is the integer whatever integer pass here that will be the priority of the thread Syn synchronization means at uh, at a time only one should perform the task okay otherwise errors can happen as discussed earlier so to uh, achieve this what we can do is see if you don't achieve um, synchronization what can happen is consider an example here of this class uh, call me it just prints a message um, means if i pass here hello it will print here hello between the square brackets okay that will be printed be uh, between the square brackets that's the uh, function of this class the second class is class caller it uh, implements a uh, interface runnable and it creates a thread and this thread calls call message okay so this class is getting converted into a thread by using this class class caller okay so what we'll be doing here uh, in the main function is we'll be creating three threads hello synchronized and world okay so these three threads will be created and running simultaneously so what we want the output to be is we, uh, we want output to be first hello because it's called first then synchronized then world but what happens is see here hello before this gets over this will be called and before this gets over this will be called so mixing of the result will be happening to avoid this we have to use synchronized okay everything will be same just before the object we will be writing the keyword synchronized okay this will cause the correct output which is first hello will be executed after this gets over then this then this okay but there are some limitations to synchronization for example consider the uh, example of producer consumer and bonded buffer problem these both are uh, these both problems are very similar so i have just taken one of them which is uh, producer consumer problem in this uh, for example if uh, producer produces a good for every 10 seconds and consumer consumes in every 5 seconds okay so at that time when uh, good one is produced the consumer will check two times and it will get the good two times okay so it will produce multiple outputs of the same value see here in this class i have two functions i have used the word synchronize but still this happens we will look at it why see here the get function will um, output that uh, it, uh, it got the good and it will uh, output the value here and the put function will uh, output that it has put the good and it will uh, output the value here now by using the uh, runnable thread we are creating two, uh, two threads for um, producer and second is for consumer so since these both are running independently synchronization cannot be effective here because the number of times uh, this uh, thread is getting executed is independent of how many times this one is getting executed okay so what happens is see here whenever it puts a good it will do i plus plus and get will get the function and output it has uh, got the uh, good so what happens is um, only one time the good will be put but multiple values of got will be uh, printed because those both threads are independent 
so it will not have any synchronization when it has put and when it has got okay so this will be checking multiple times and it will be printing the value multiple times okay to avoid this what you can do is we can uh, use two functions called wait and notify so in each of the function we'll have the wait and notify whenever the good is producing it will call the wait function and after it has produced it will call the notify function notify function will um, inform the uh, consumer that it has produced the good so then it will take the good okay so in that time the proper output will be um, seen here okay deadlock means two functions waiting for each other's execution okay so none of them will be executed see here for example i have a class a which is using an object of class b and i purposely put sleep function here to illustrate the example of deadlock and same is for class b also it will be using a object of class a so when i um, in the main function if i call uh, a dot f of b at that time object of class a should be created first see here it is a dot f of b so first a's object will be created then b's object when b's object is uh, getting created at that time to create the object of b a's object should be created first so at that time both will be waiting for each other's um, execution in this case no uh, function will be um, in this case no class will be uh, created and the uh, function will be uh, stuck in a deadlock okay so avoid the, uh, to avoid that what you can do is we can use monitor what does monitor do in monitor we can call uh, one function while one function is getting executed at that time other function cannot um, execute its own functions how is that possible by using a, a set and lock function in set and lock function if um, this is getting executed at that time it will be set okay set and lock and if the this function wants to execute it will be in the waiting state okay after this gets over it will release the lock and this will be executed in this case deadlock will not occur okay so this is the way to avoid deadlock